Let's say that you lock up, right? And a man gives you a chance that providing, protecting, leading, teaching, nurturing, uh, loving, caring, masculine, that man gives you a chance and says, you know what? I believe you, Brittany Renner. You're right. You know, you, you do seem like you've learned and you've evolved and you've blossomed and you've developed yourself into, you know, a better woman. Right? So you've, you've done that. He gives you a chance. He invites you in. Well, what we can see happen is this. A Brittany Renner looks up and she gets her a quote unquote high quality, high value man to love her and all of this. Can she keep him? Let's get into that. Can you keep it? See, it's one thing to get the man, but can you keep the man? A lot of us don't know how to keep a man, let alone uh, attract one. See, we're used to dealing with males, low-budget-ass dudes. We can attract them left and right. That's easy. Light work. You in my inbox right now, low-budget nigga. You in my inbox right now. Oh, yeah, you know, baby, you so fine. You so beautiful. You this, you that. It's either that or a simp ass dude, right? No masculinity to him. He may have a little, you know, change in his pocket. You know, got a little something going, but uh, not a man though. Again, what I say earlier, it's in our nature as women to look for a certain type of man. They can be in our inbox too. Oh, baby, I drink your no bath water and I'll pay for the tub. You, you, you may have that type of nigga too. And you still don't want him either. That's light work. You can attract him, sleep with him, get with him all day. But a man, can we truly attract and keep them? A lot of us, we cannot. We're going to get into it. Now, let's say this. Even if we luck up and we get with a D or a race, and, you know, these are, um, thank you, Samuel, and these are, you know, the stand-up solid gentlemen out here, the masculine men that have resources and, you know, money and all of that. Even if we luck up and we get with him, do we know how to keep that kind of man? Do we know how to properly love on that type of man? Do we know how to take care of the type of man? A lot of us, we don't. We think due to us being locked up in this 304 culture and 304 lifestyle and mindset that once again, thank you, Frederick, all it takes is sex and somebody that looks good. And I hate to keep bringing up Brittany, but Brittany, she's been heavy in these damn streets in rotation and she just keep giving us Things to reference, right? But in a Brittany Renner, in that interview that she had um, with, I think it was Andrew Tate on there, she was really trying to make it seem like men are just barbarians and all they need to do is have, you know, their, their penises suck real good and, you know, that's it. So even if a 304 reformed tries to get with a, a certain type of man that can offer her things and do things for her, she wouldn't know how to really keep him and solidify him because all she knows is whole. Are y'all following me with that? All right, baby, what you gonna do for me today? Oh, well, I was gonna suck your penis. Okay, that's cool, but what else? Oh, well, I was gonna ride it real good tonight. Okay, that's cool, but what else? You know, like, he can't talk to you. He can't relate to you. He can't bounce ideas off of you. Like, all you know is bounce that ass. Not no damn idea. You know, all you know is deep throw. You don't know how to be a, a deep mind. You don't know how to connect deeply on an intellectual level. Like, you don't know how to do it. It's like, so it, it gets to a point where it's like, I don't even know how to maintain or sustain something like this. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And that can be something that's very uh, unfortunate because it's like, damn, like this bitch is very surface level, very basic. And, and here's something else, you guys, that I think that we don't take into consideration. Another thing that I think that we don't take into consideration is when it comes to a certain type of man, and when I'm talking about a certain type of man, I'm talking about the ones that we really want and desire. These are the masculine men, the assertive men, the providing, protecting, leading, teaching men. You know, I don't think that we understand that these type of men, they get bitches to do that type of shit on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I went off on, the, on that troll the other day with some of my, oh, Danico, we're giving the incels hope. These men over on my platform, solid. 
masculine is nothing to fuck a bitch. Let's, I, I gotta keep it real, plain, uncut, unfiltered, raw. It is nothing to fuck a bitch. That's light work that's easy. So with these type of men having their pick, they already had a female that knew how to suck the motherfucking vein out. You know, I, they already had a female that knew how to bounce it with the Megan and style your knees. I already know what it's like. Like that's light work, that's easy, like that's basic. I, I'm looking for more substance. And that's what we're missing today. We're missing the substance. We're missing, you know, the, 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 the things that will really solidify a relationship to maintain a, and sustain a relationship ongoing. You know, like sex, that's easy. I, as a matter of fact, bitch, I, I, know, I know a female I can call up right now tonight that know how to suck and fuck better than you. So I don't even, like, that, that's not it. And we don't understand that that's not it for a man. They need more fulfillment outside of just the sexual element, outside of just the physical element. Oh, yeah, she's cute, and she know how to do this, she know how to do that, but it's cool. But I need somebody I can relate to. I need somebody I can talk to. I need somebody that, that gets me. We don't think of men in that lens. Again, very barbarian type of m mindset and viewpoint that we have of you guys. Very uh, animalistic, you know, very surface level. Like, if you just do those things for me, if you be cute and you suck them and fuck them, he'll be okay. That's all he needs. And they don't understand that you guys have thoughts and feelings and emotions. And, you know, you guys go through things, too. And so you, you, you're you going to need somebody that you can connect to and relate to on those levels. But we never go beyond that. And then before you know it, you lose him. Right? So you may have lucked up as a reform 304. And a, a God gives you a chance. But because all you know is ho, he got to let you go. Because, yeah, that's cool. Like, oh, the, here's the thing, you guys. When it comes to hold out nature, you know, being a very sexual person, those things are bonuses in a relationship to real quality men. Those are bonus features. They are not the feature. Th those are not the fruit and vegetables of a woman, of a relationship. Again, that's a side. You know? I need more than that. And so with a lot of us being caught up in, you know, just, just the whole, it's like, eh, that gets played out and born after a while. It's only so many nuts he can bust a day. You know, it's only so much riding and gliding he can do. Like after a while, it's like, bitch, this is a distraction at this point. You know, like only, and I hate to put it like this, but only niggas got time to fucking suck all day. Without getting tired, without getting bored. You want to go 10 rounds, baby? You know, I got this dick. Like, only broke ass, low vibrational, nothing to offer but penis and bubble gum. Only those type of guys will be perfectly okay with just getting sucked and fuck all that. Because that's all they got anyway. They don't have a business to run. They don't have a career. They don't, they don't have shit going on. So, for them, that'll be cool. Like, yeah, you know, my bitch, she could fuck me all day, man. I swear for God, like, she don't get tired. Only them type of, and, and unfortunately, with us being knee deep in the damn whole culture, you know, those are the only type of males that we are able to attract. And so when we get introduced or involved with a real man, we try to do um, the same things that we were used to doing with those low vibrational males on him. And it's like, baby, that ain't enough for me. That shit get played out to me. Like, it's good, but it ain't everything. You know, head cool, but it ain't everything. I need more. I need more substance. And we miss out. So either way, it can just be a double whammy for us. Even if we do look up, do we know how to keep that man? Do we know how to treat that man outside of just the physical? You know? And like I said, we ultimately get stuck in that lifestyle because, you know, a lot of men feel like, I don't even want to take that chance. I don't want to take the chance of getting with her and then all she knows is whole and nothing more to her, no substance, no depth, and then I'm wasting my time. I, I, I essentially just wiped up a hoe and now I'm bored because all she know is hoe shit. And I need a woman. Right? Nothing wrong with being a part-time hoe when it's time to go. You know what I mean? But that's all you know? Oh, boring. Unfulfilling. So they don't want to take that chance on wiping up a hoe and all, that's all she know and then he got to go. Got that element. Then on, his, on the flip side, it's like how now she still ain't out in the motherfucking streets? Like the guy said earlier, it's easier to unscramble an egg than to reform this. I don't know what she about. 
That may be in her motherfucking blood. It's in her DNA to be a hoe. I don't know. And I don't want to take a chance. I don't want to figure it out. Which is why, once again, the 304 phase gets dealt away with and done away with. Because you ultimately have to embrace the 304 life because no man wants to deal with you. There were, you thought you can hop in of it and out of it. Oh, I hop out. I, I dibble and dabble with the whole shit. And then I go and I get out. And then I find me a real man settle down with him. No, they they're they're turning your these men are rejecting y'all females left and right, y'all down through your fours left and right, and they making y'all eat it and deal with it and sleep in it and eat in it and everything. Like it is not a phase, it is your life now. And again, it leaves you no other choice but to embrace it because nobody wants you anyway. And this is why you you will start to see not only a lot of these 304s trying to reform themselves and you know turn things around and change it around because they want to obtain a certain type of masculine man but after a while when they realize damn i don't think i can get out of this i think i fucked up way too much and these men are not taking any gambles once they reach that level and reach that point now they, they kick it up a notch. Now they turn up a notch. Now it's like no i like being a hoe and i like doing this and i like doing that because it's like i don't have no other choice but to play up like I'm cool, like I'm fulfilled, like I'm happy with this shit. Because what else I'm going to do? So you're going to start to see that as well. Mark my words. It's so many levels and layers to the conversation.